Hi guys, and welcome back to the Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to build a Slava class cruiser, which is used by the uh, Russian Navy currently, and was used by the Soviet Navy. So it's a pretty impressive ship. Uh, it's pretty cool as well. It's one of my more detailed ships, which is what I'm going to try and kind of get to um, get to doing more and more detail on the deck and everything like that to make it as realistic as possible. Um, there is a slight mistake that I made with this one when I was building it. It's actually supposed to be 186 blocks long. Um, I've got 151. Um, so when I actually wrote down the dimensions of it, I actually wrote down the wrong dimensions or when I was actually building it, I, I kind of flipped between builds and I got it slightly wrong. So it's slightly scaled back, um, but it's still, it's still quite a big ship. 151 blocks long, 40 high and 17 wide. So I'm just going to fly over this kind of tutorial area and show you what I'm actually going to be doing to, to teach you this one. So it's going to be a layer by layer tutorial as most of my tutorials are. Uh, I've just found that this is easily the best way to go about doing these ships and it gives you guys a break so when you know you do finish on, on layer number five or something like that you can take a break after that and I'll announce when it's layer number six so it'll, it'll kind of make it a lot easier for you guys to get with. Um, if you're on the Xbox as well this one is Xbox friendly uh, there might be just a couple of blocks that I'll just tell you where to actually switch them out for. Um, and I would probably advise the main hole colour that I use. I use iron blocks. So a block of iron because you get this cool kind of effect. But I would definitely recommend using either light grey wool or using your stone. Either way works pretty well. Um, so if you do use this ship on a map or server or anything like that, adventure map, just make sure that you credit me for the design itself. You can still obviously credit yourself for any interior that's done as long as the actual design goes to me. So just say designed by Lord Dacker, that is absolutely fine. Um, and as long as you don't upload this one as a single build to something, a site like PMC, because uh, then that's basically taking credit for the design. Um, but let's get started on this build anyway, it's going to be a fun one. Okay, so before we begin, if you guys are building this one in the water or, you know, after you've built it kind of on land and then transferring it into the water via, you know, world edit or MC edit on the PC, um, I'll just show you guys where I put my water line. So I like to have a layer of red showing and then on this one, usually it's black, but on, on this ship it's actually a white layer. So I like to have two of those showing, so you're actually one, two, three, four layers underneath the water. So I like to have those two show in there, so so this is kind of where your water would be. I'll just show it in the gold there. So you've got one, two, three, four. Um, but it's kind of up to you if you want to have it you know, a bit deeper in the water, or you probably don't want to actually have it that much higher out of the water. It's probably just you know red and white is going to be fine. So just four blocks there, all right? Okay, so for layer number one, what you're going to do is just put down three blocks. One, two, three. And now what you're going to do is going to go three wide in total. This one goes back by 21 in total, so you've got... Okay, let's block 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So this will be free wide. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the outline of it first. And then I recommend doing this and then just filling in the kind of sections uh, kind of at a later date. And you've got 5 wide and you're going to go back by 14 in total. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And this will be five wide, so again, just box this one off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go seven wide. And this one goes back by 91 blocks. So counting this block that you've got here, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way back to 91 in total. So I'll catch you guys when you've kind of made a box of uh, the 91. It's the longest layer on this. Okay, and then once you've done that really long run, what you're going to do is just come in one block on each side. Just place down one block. I've just filled mine in solid for the time being. Um, and then all you're going to do is just cut out this one. So this is where you've got your 91. This will just be an extra block here. Then it just goes in like this. This is where the actual uh, propellers are sitting, just in this part here, which we'll get onto. But that is it for layer number one. Okay, so for layer number two, what you're going to do is you're going to come to the front and come forwards just by one block. And now you're going to have a six, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. The next one is just going to outline just like this. So whatever I do on one side, you guys are just going to copy onto the other. So you've just got this kind of like three blocks on this one, then this one just outlines like normal. The next one as well is an outlining one. Let's just bring this one here. And also the next one is outlining, but it, there is a slight difference when we get to the end. So 
If you guys just bring this one down, I'm just going to fly down because it does take a little while, and I'll kind of bring this one back down. But you will have this coming all the way down like this, and this is where you would be outlined. So if you bring it to here, what we're going to do is just take up one block. You're going to have two in here like this, so you've got one on top and one go backwards. Grab your block of iron for your propellers themselves. Just place one right in here, and this is going to be six in total. So you got one, two, three. Whoops, one, two, three, four, five, six two pieces of gold and then you're just going to do just on this part here you're just going to have them going out diagonally like this so then you're going to bring this one up on the other side so I'm just going to do it just this end bit here so you're one block short you've got this two here again six so you got one two three four five six two pieces of gold just on the kind of diagonal parts like this and then what you're going to do is just on the inside, right next to this one, so it's going to basically be outlining this bottom layer. It's going to have one here, and one here, and one here like that. Okay, so for layer number three, what you're going to do is, if you come to the front, this time we're going to move inwards. So we're going to be in one block here. We're going to go four, one, two, three, four. So just building this front part here. Then we're going to go out and go four, one, two, three, and four. So this, then a nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then out, and we've got seven, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Should just be right in there. Now, the next one is going to be a 15, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it should be one block on top of that longest run that we've got. And then go out, and this one is just going to be pulled pretty much all the way back. So if you pull this one all the way, it does take quite a while, so I'm just going to fly down again. And when you've brought this one down here, it would be in line normally, and you're gonna just take up one block just like you did before. Then you have a two here, and then it's gonna be three across this part here, just to cover up this kind of section like that. There's just been one on top of there. So do the same on the other side, um, and we'll just put in the rudder. Okay, so for the rudder, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a three block gap here. So one, two, three. So those are your three blocks. So, not counting this part here, just to make sure you guys have got where it is. It doesn't matter if you get this part wrong anyway. And then you just have a two, two is out, then three, so it's coming towards this part, and then three. And then you're going to put three on the side of this part, and on the other side. On the front, and on the, also on the back, you're just going to put one extra block. That'll just create your kind of small rudder. Uh, so, I just need to finish off the other side of this one, and we're on to layer number four. Okay, so for layer number four, what you're going to do is come to the front way, but there's four blocks here, you're just going to place one on top here so just got the one shown here, this is going to be four back in total, so you've got one, two, three and four, so it should be one short of just covering up this gap, now you're going to have two sets of three, so you've got one, two, three one, two, three, and then you're going to go out and have five, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, so it should be one on top, next one is six, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, so it should just cover up that gap there Next one here is going to be 16, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. One on top of that kind of long run. This next one is just going to go out, just like we did in the last layer. Just keep on bringing this one out, and I'm just going to fly down all the way here. So we'll get right to here, so you should be bringing this one back here. And again, if it was in line, it would just be here, but what you're going to do is going to take off one block like this. And I'm going to have nine going forward. So this is going to kind of cover up this back section here. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And you're going to go in. And this is going to be a five. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. Next one is a one. And then there should be five across the back, which should cover up this part. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five, just like that. So you should have this on the back here. I'm just going to do the same on the other side now. And then once you've done the outline on the other side, just like this, so it should have, and of course these will be brought back all the way back to right to the, the kind of beginning. I've just done this to kind of show you guys quickly, and I can fill it in later. So once you've got this, all you can do is come on the inside and just fill in oh, this section here without trying to fall through. So this will just cover up all of this part. Uh, so just go around all of that bit, and I'll get I'll catch you guys on the next layer. Okay, and for layer number five, what you're going to do is if you come to the front again, where you've got this four here, just come back by one block and put down two. So you've just got it on here. The next one's going to be three, so it's actually going to be kind of creating this little little gap here. So you've got a three there, number three, one, two, three. 
And then you've got two sets of five, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, and number five, one, two, three, four, five. And now your next one is going to be a 13, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And the next one, you're just going to kind of go out here, and this one will go on top of this really long layer that we've got here. So a couple of the blocks are actually kind of out of it, and the rest are just directly on top. So bring this one all the way back. So what I'll do again is I'll just fly down because it is a lot faster, and I'll show you exactly where, where is we, what we should be doing with it. So this one will be all the way on top of this. So just bring it up to this layer here. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to go over by four. So you're just going to add four blocks to this part here. So you've got one, two, three, and four. Next part here is ten blocks. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, which is directly in line at this one. And then you've got a one, and there should be now seven going across the back. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So do that on the other side as well, and we will get onto the next layer. And that was the last layer of red, so we're now onto the white. And then we've got either light grey wool, your iron blocks, or, or stone, whatever kind of grey material you've got. So let's get on to this. Okay, so we're on to layer number six, which is the white layer. So if you come to the front part here, it's going to place a white block on here and then come forward. So we're kind of done with this main section that goes out, and it's going to come in and then it's going to go up again. So you can see it here. So we're going to start going up again on the ship like that. So we've just got one on top of that one going forwards then, just by one. Then we've got a two. And now we've got a three, and another set of three, one, two, three, and then the next one is a five, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, the next one is six, one, two, three, four, five, six, the next one is fourteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So it should just be three on top of that layer there. And then the next one is just gonna go outwards and it's gonna outline this main long section here, so just like we did before, just going to bring all this, this one all the way down and I'll just come all the way to the back here and show you what to do on the back part. So just be coming out like this and again just bring it in line, you're going to take off one block again and the next one here, you're going to have one block on here and it's going to be 10, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Next one is 3, so you got 1, 2 and 3 and now there should be 9 across the back, so you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 just like that, and there should be just one block extra here, so you just add in an extra block right behind that one. So again, on the other side you have this three, and then you're just going to add a block in there. So do that on both sides, you know, connect these two points of course, and we'll get on to the kind of light, the kind of greyish colour. Okay, so for layer number seven, which is going to be your light grey colour, uh, if you're using Sfax and you've got connected textures, I definitely recommend using the iron blocks, because they look pretty amazing, especially with um, the kind of the better connected textures where you get these kind of girder marks. Um, if you're on Xbox 360, a light grey wool or stone looks really good. Uh, but it really does depend on your texture pack what you kind of prefer to use for this colour. So if you just come to the front, all you're going to do is place one block on the front here and then go forwards by one. So you've got a two in total. Next one is going to be a two here. You've got a three, one, two, and three. And then two. So you've got two here. Then five, one. Two, three, four, five, and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the next one's going to be fourteen. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm just going to recount these: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And then the next one is just going to basically be on top of the last layer. So it'll be two overhanging on this front part, just be directly on top of the actual white layer. So just bring this one all the way back. Da, 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 da. And again, there'll be a slight difference um, as there usually is on the back of these ones. So this will just be directly on top of this layer here. So just bring it right on top of that white layer like that. And then what you're going to do this time instead of you know taking back any, you're actually going to go over by two. So just add two blocks just to that layer like that, and then you're going to have a nine. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So it's just over that. That one by one, and then you got a four, one, two, three, and four. And then this one is just going to basically go across the back like this. So it's joined onto the last layer. So this one, I'm just going to find out where it is. One, two, three, and then four. There we go. So this one is just connected on the back, just going straight across like that. So just creating that bit there. So do the same on the other side, and we'll get on to the next layer. Okay, so for layer number eight, what you're going to do is come to the front, place a block on top of this one, and come forwards by one yet again. And now what you're going to do is you're going to have a two, so you've got two, a three, one, two, three, and then another two, just like this. 
and then you've got four, one, two, three, four. Next layer is five. Oh, so we've got four here. I just mic'd up then. And then one, two, three, four, five. Next one is nine, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, just like that. And then the next one is just gonna be like we did before. So you've got these ones sticking over like that, and that goes on top of this last kind of longest run. So you're just gonna keep on bringing this one back, and I'll just fly it all the way down, just like we've been doing before. Uh, so you'll be in here, so this will be all directly on top of the last layer, connecting all the way into the front. Just bring it up to this layer here, and you're gonna just go over by three this time. So you're just gonna add three blocks, one, two, and three. Next one is eight, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight like this. And then what you're gonna do is just have two here. So it's pretty much just exactly the same on top of the last kind of layer at the back. It's going directly on top of this bit. And because this bit comes over, it just instead of it being on top like this, you've just got these extra two there. So do the same on the other side and we'll get on to the next layer. Okay, so for layer number nine, what you're gonna do is place a block right on the front, come forwards by one, and you have two. And then number two, just like this, and then a three, so you got one, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four, just like that. And number four, one, oh, one, two, three, four. Now you're gonna have seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then 20, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And now the next one is gonna be outlining again. So I'll just come out again to this part. There is a slight difference again, as there always is with this layer. Um, so if you just bring this one all the way back, and um, what I'll show you, if you bring it up, up back to, to where it should be outlining, kind of here, so I've probably brought it back enough, so it's outlining this part here, where just basically the last layer, what we're going to do is you're going to take 10 blocks off, so you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, then this next one here is going to be a 12, so you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, this one comes over by 2, so you've got 11 and 12, just like that. And then the next one is 8, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, like that. And then you've got 3 coming across this way, 1, 2, 3. And it goes in for 5 on this part, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This part comes out for 3, like that. So do that on both sides, and we'll get on to the next layer. Okay, so once you've done that, both on, uh, <laughs> on both sides, what you can actually do is you can fill in this kind of back deck. So we've just done this back part here uh, that we'll be going around in a second. So this part here. Um, with the actual Russian ships, they kind of have, it's kind of this reddish brown color. Um, so it's kind of up to you if you want to use the red or the brown. I actually think that it's, the brown just looks a bit crap, to be honest. It just doesn't look kind of good enough. So what I did is I, I actually used the red wall. So where we've got this kind of back section here, this is where I actually advise going across, because you don't need to fill in the entire deck for this one, because it does go, it gets raised up. This is where the main deck is here. This is just like a bit that's a bit lower down. Uh, so you can just go from this section here, fill this all in uh, for the time being, and it'll just give us a, a you know a nice helping hand. Uh, it'll give us the actual deck. So do that, and we'll get on to the next part. Okay, so for layer number 10, what you're gonna do is come to the front, place one block on top, and come forwards by one. Then you're going to have a two and a two, two sets of three now. So you got one, two, three, and here one, two, and three. Then four, one, two, three, four, then five, one, two, three, four, five, just like that. Then fourteen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Now the next one is just going to kind of go out, and it will go on top of this long layer. Just again, so it's kind of extending this, it's slowly kind of bulging out on the side. As you can see, it's quite different from my usual ship designs. That's a bit more advanced, so you can kind of see especially how it's gone. And then just bring this one all the way back, like this. Da, 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 da. So we're bringing this one all the way back here, and then when it's just directly on top, what you can do is you can go over by one and just put in two for the time being. Um, what I'm going to do in a second is I'm, I'm going to, after you've kind of brought that back to there, I'll start doing this back part in here, uh, just putting the like, couple of blocks down and you know tell you how many to go up by. Uh, so if you just do that, 
just to that two blocks there on each side. Um, then we'll get on to the next bit, put them with rating and that, and that kind of stuff like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do just to finish off, well, just to lay out this back bit, not actually finish it off, is just from this block here, so not counting these two here, you're going to have four going across counting it. So you got one, two, three, and four. Then you have four here. So it's got four going here, so you've got this kind of two channel here. This will be where one stair is going to go in and you can actually get to the back part. It's then going to go out and it's going to have four, so you've got one, two, three, and four, just like that as well. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to have a one, just going inwards, then a 10, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then from this 10, it's just going to go over by one block like this. So this will be showing 2, so you've got 10 showing this way. Then we go this way, you've just got these 2, and then there's just going to be 3 in the middle here, uh, 2, and you'll just be doing the same on the other side as well. So if you just copy this kind of shape onto the other side, we'll get on to the next bit. And then what you can do once you've done that kind of shape on the back is just come to this part here and just build this bit up here this one's got a, basically a step pan here you can just build this up to a total height of, the height of 2 for the time being um, as all of this bit is exactly the same so it's just this bit here I'm just here I'm just going to cross this 4 don't build up this wall again what we, even though it is there we'll be doing that as we build itself up so then we've got another one here um, and then another thing you can do is if you grab iron bars or fence, it's really up to you. I usually use iron bars for my more modern builds. Just come in and change these ones out here. Grab your iron bars, and put these here, put one on there as well for when we put in the step. And just go around the side just like this. And it'll just wrap into this back part here. So we've got this here, put in one there, and one there and then wrap this one around just like this um, so now what we will do is we'll, we'll continue doing the kind of front part um, as it does go get a bit raised at the front so we're just going to continue doing the layers uh, to get the main hole done um, and then we'll both basically probably work back to front with this one um, or just put in you know most of the front parts and this main kind of bridge tower section is probably going to be the most complex out of all of it so We'll probably just do it section by section, uh, kind of like uh, some of my tutorials I've done. I've just worked my way through it, I think, working way from the back, do this middle section, then do the front, and then finish off with the tower. That might be the best way to do it. Um, so let's continue building this. Okay, so for layer number 11, what you're going to do is place a block on the front, just like we've been doing, and then go forwards by one. Now we're going to have three sets of two, so you got one, so you got two two and two so in total on this part there's gonna be four so you have one two three and four just like this then you have a three so you have one two three and then four one two three four and then five one two three four five and then seven one two three four five six and seven and now this one is just going to basically be right on top of this last layer it will go all the way on top of this of course it will be sticking over just a little bit, but you can see this kind of stagger pattern that I've started doing on this moving towards the front, so bring this one all the way back. And it should do, and we actually hit into the back. It's starting to get a really long run, so it's taking quite a while now. So if we keep on pulling this one right the way back, it should hit right into that wall that we were just doing, just working on to, um, like that. So if you just do that on the other side, we'll get onto layer number 12. Okay, so for layer number 12, come to the front again and just place a block right on top, come forwards by one. And this time you're going to have a one, and then a two, then a three. And there's going to be three sets of three in total, so you got one, and then you got one, two, three, two, two, three, and then it's three sets of three, that's a three, three, and three. Now you're going to have a four, so you got one, two, three, four, and then a five, one, two, three, four, five. And then this one is just going to be on top again. So we've just been gradually, instead of my older ships where they used to basically just come out straight, these ones have actually staggered. And I think it makes it look a lot better and it's actually more realistic to the ship. So you can see it on here actually. You can see that there's a lot more depth in these actual curves. Not only, you know, coming on the front parts and also on the side parts, but also gradually going up to make a kind of sharper, steeper angle. So just bring this one on top anyway before I get sidetracked completely. And keep on dragging this one back. 
And I'll tell you where to put it down. If we just stop it directly on top of this layer for now, um, I'll just have a quick look at this back part because we can do the kind of heli pad uh, while we're at it. So let's do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is just off this black, <laughs> this block here. I'm just going to put in an extra one just behind it and put in some iron bars. I'm actually just going to grab the stairs. I usually use uh, stone stairs for these. You could use stone brick or any other kind of type of stairs really. Um, it's up to you. So if we just come into the inside part here, just place one stair here, one stair here, and then there'll be a stair here as well. And I usually just place in a block of you know my main hole colour just underneath it there, so we've got that there. And now what you're gonna do is just on top of this block here, just drag this one across and above this bit. It just creates this kind of little alcove here like that. And then we're gonna have a block on top of this one. And this one here is actually gonna be a stone stair, so just bring your stairs down. It uh, should just enable you to kind of get around. It's not perfect, um, but it's as close as I could kind of get. And then just put in a block underneath. So this one's actually on top of that one. And then what you're going to do is just going to come out and just outline this part. Just to this point here, so it's in line. And then this bit here goes across the back like that. So if we just do it on the other side as well. Uh, so I haven't brought down this back wall, but if I just bring part of it down for you guys. And just have one in here. This is where your iron bars gonna go. Put in your stair. So you got your stairs in here. Goes up there. Put in a block underneath, just like that. Place a block on this one. And pull this one across the top of this one, creating this kind of alcove here. And you got one. And then the stone stairs just go up here as well. And block underneath. So you should just be able to almost kind of walk through on that part. This then just goes out and it should line up just like that. So that gives us the kind of basic back part. Um, you can actually fill in after you've, uh, after I've kind of done the other side as well. This is actually where your main deck is so all of this part you can just get your, your red wool or your brown wool, whatever kind of colour you've you decided to go with. Just grab that and just fill in all of this part and all the way, all the way to the front really. Um, I'll just double check here because it does this ship does get raised up and the deck raises up with it. I'll just I'll just kind of find out where you can actually stop this one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, that's overhanging. Um, so that's this bit here. So we've got this kind of five here, so you've got one, two, three, four, five. I think it's that part. Uh, I'm not too sure. Okay. So if we have a look from that longest section here, okay. So I think because because I've actually been looking at the wrong side. So if I go to this side, there we go. Okay, so from this part here, you got one, two, three, four, five. This is the longest section going back. If you just bring this deck part up to this bit here, so of course I haven't got it on mine at the minute, but just bring it from the back just to this section here because it does get raised up. You could just continue filling it in solid, but what I've done on mine is I've actually you know, left it in and just built it up to exactly where it is, but that will bring you up to, I think it's here, yeah, it's going across this part here, so if you fill that in, we'll get on to the next section. Okay, so now what we're going to do after you've kind of filled in all of that deck part right up to this layer here, we're just going to finish off shaping this this front because it does bow up quite a lot, and you can see actually from this one it now looks really kind of incomplete, so we're just going to finish off uh, just this front part, we'll put in the kind of last bits of deck after we've done uh, putting in this part now. So what you're going to do is just going to place a block right in the front and go forwards by one, just like we've been doing before. And now you can have a one, and then a two, two on the two, and then we've got another two, so two, two sets of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a four, one, two, three, four, and a five, one. Two, three, four, five, and then just a three, one, two, and three. So you should just have one block on there. That will just finish off that layer there. So copy this one to the other side and we'll go up another layer. Okay, and now for the next one, what we're going to do is we're just going to come forwards just by one block this time. So there's not one right on top of here. Now we're going to have a two, two, oh, two. <laughs> so two, 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 and another two. So we've got four sets of two in total on this one. So we get one. One, two, three, and four. And then you're gonna have a four, so you got one, two, three, four, and then just a two just in this part, so copy it onto the other side. 
And then what we're going to do just to finish off this one is come forward by one yet again. We're going to have one, two, and then a two like that. So you've just got one, two, two. So now if we take a look back at this, there we go. So now you can see how it kind of goes upwards quite nicely. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at these, where to put in the deck parts for the front. So let's do this. Okay, so for just extending this kind of front deck, where well, we've got this layer here, we're just going to add an extra three blocks. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So let's kind of extend this part like this. And then what we're going to do is there's going to be ten layers of the next one. So you're going to go up by one block and you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So everything kind of right next to this is just going to be one layer up. So you can just bring this across. So what I recommend doing is just counting up to the ten and then bringing this across here as a guide. Just fill this part in and we'll get on to the next one. And then the next one is just going to go up one more layer again. And this time this one just goes all the way to the front. So you shouldn't have to count this one out at all. Um, so we've just got this kind of small raised part at the front is just going to be left like it, it doesn't need to go up again. So I just fill in this front section. Okay, so that's what you should have for your front section so far. Just quite bare, quite simple. You can see it's completely different to what I kind of got on this one, but what we're going to do is we're just going to do it section by section, do in detail. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to do the back part of it, because uh, we've already started doing bits of it. So we're just going to do this back section here um, where we've got the helipad, we'll put in all of the markings for that. There's also these kind of small, I think they're like kind of flat cannons, and these kind of control things here. This small hanger that they've got in there. Um, so we'll just basically work our way up to here for now. Then we'll probably do another section from this point, uh, going through the kind of crane, the smokestacks that are just there, the sensor array here, and then stop it around about here, finish off the front, and then do the main bridge to finish it off. So let's do this. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do is we'll just put a fence going around the outside of the perimeter of this one. So, if you just, sorry, iron bars, not fence. So if you just grab your iron bars, all we're going to do is exactly the same as we did before, just with these kind of wrapping around corner parts. We're just going to bring it from that side of the stairs, just around like this. That'll just give us the kind of basic fence part. And then what we're going to do is there's these two kind of side parts on, on this bit. So we're just going to put a stone slab here and just make this kind of shape like this. Cut through the deck, this is where a piece of glass is going to go and you're going to have three blocks of your main hole colour behind it. So it's the same on the other side, so you've just got these kind of three uh, stone slabs, a piece of glass, and then your three blocks of iron. Um, I think on mine I might have cut underneath the there as well, yeah you can see that I've just put in the iron blocks around it, but I think these are kind of like the viewing areas for the actual hangar itself. I'm not entirely sure what they are, uh, but if you just put those two in like that. And then behind this part we've got one fence and then we've got two blocks of iron going up. And you're just going to put a fence gate on, punch it through. This will be, a, I think it's a flak cannon type thing. So you can put those in there, put that there and put on your fence gate just to build those two kind of guns at the back. And then directly in line with these parts we're just going to go in leaving a one block back gap so you can actually walk across we're going across by seven, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And it goes back by nine in total. Counting that block, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to do the rest of it in just a second. I just want to kind of move backwards gradually. So that'll just give us a kind of uh, placeholder for where where this actual bit is. We're actually going to do all these side bits in a second. And now we're just going to do the deck details here. And then for these actual kind of deck details here, what we're going to do is you find the center line here, we're just going to go one block to the side and we're just going to go towards the back by seven. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is with your white wool or quartz or something like that. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's going to be the same on the other side as well. There's two of these kind of stripe lines. I don't know why I'm taking out so many blocks. There we go. Put those back in. So you've got this here and then join these two together and then you're just going to have three, one, and then three, one. So you're doing this kind of pretty simple Minecraft circle here, so it's just a free one pattern, and we should get to it there, so there you go, so that part's the free, so you got seven here, and you join them up, and you got three, one, three, one, three, one, so you should be one block away from the back, and these ones should be on the side, and then if you come to the middle, 
we're just going to take out a couple of these blocks and just do a simple pattern like that and that gives you the actual deck pattern at the back okay so now what if we okay so now if we just bring this up if we just bring this front part up by to a total height of three so you've got one two and then three like this and you can bring this back wall up as well oh not this back wall this side wall up so you can just bring this up to a total height of three and now what we're going to do is the actual back door is slightly kind of slanted back so you're just going to go back by one block and this will just be too high just like this and then bring this back here Okay, this one in just to this back wall so you just get that for the time being and then what you're going to do is you're just going to create a t-shape just on this bottom part here so you've got three blocks up and it's going to go one out to the side and you're just going to create that shape like that and then if we come around to the side part here we're just going to go out by two so you've just got two here and counting these faces here you're going to have a two as well so you've got two showing this way and two showing this way and now you're going to go out and you've got an eight so you've got one two three four five six seven and eight this back part will just go straight across so if you just bring this out on the other side as well it should just connect in just like that and build this up to a total height of two in total so just add an extra layer of of your kind of whole color right on top and then what you're going to do is where you've got this back wall here you're just going to add an extra eight blocks so you've got one two three four five six seven and eight so it should just leave a one block gap so that when you do put in your floor which we'll do in a second you actually have somewhere to walk around on uh, such as this on the other side one two three four five six seven eight join this together and if you just build it up again there will be a kind of extension so we will be taking out part of this wall when we get to that part uh, but for the time being it's a little bit easier just to kind of build this up like that then grab your red wall this doesn't give you any room at all underneath uh, but it is just slightly raised up instead of it being you know, a, you know raised up by quite a bit so if we just put in the floor again for this part and that gives us that section like that and then we got these kind of side bits like this here um, so if you've made your actual whole color out of light gray wool I recommend using stone or something else just put in two blocks here and then behind it you've got two blocks of iron grab your stone slabs and these just go straight on top and just around this part as well just like that and of course it's the same on the other side so you can just copy this onto here pretty quickly and then what I did is on this back part here I just took out these two pieces of red here grabbed my iron bars and just wrapped them around the outside to create the railing for this kind of raised section so you can just come around like this and it started to rain and it lags like crazy when it rains in mine so just do that put your iron bars in just put that on the back just like that we'll just do these kind of side white bits and also the gun placement as well okay so grab your white wool and what you're going to do is just on this part you're going to have two here and there will be two here we actually need to put in the fence part as well which we'll do in a second I've just put, just reminded about that so two here and then also you have two like this you're basically just leaving in leaving a, a kind of block gap between these ones you're also then going to take out this fence here put in a stone brick and what I did is I had a stone brick stay on this part and then an upside down one around the back and just added two stone slabs so this is kind of a common gun design that I've been using um, at the minute so then just copy onto the other side and we'll do a next bit okay so if you just grab your iron bars we'll just drag it from this back part here you've got this stair in here wrap these ones around and if we just for the time being just go to where this white piece of wall is here so we are doing it section by section um, so grab your iron bars going across this part it's going around the back one in here go across here as well there we go so now what we've just got to do is this top part here um, if you do want to know where the door goes in as well or at least where I put one in, I just put in a door here so it's kind of up to you um, how you do that and you can probably just have some steps going down into this hanger um, but it's really up to you so I'm just going to cut those out just for the time being so we've got kind of a way in like that 
Okay, so if we just come to this top section here, if we just leave two of these blocks where we're at the back and just go one, two, three, four, this is just a slight extension that comes out. And you can actually leave in these ones here because we're going to be putting the uh, kind of iron bars around it. So same on the other side. So leave two, and then one, two, three, four, and just cut out those middle two. Now, on this top section, it's not red anymore. It's actually this grey wool. Uh, so if you just grab grey wool, the kind of darker one, and just fill this up here, this will create the roof of the actual hangar and also be where everything else kind of sits on top for this section. So just fill this in. And then grab your iron bars, and if we just come across the back part, let's come around here, wrap these around here. And then from here, counting this one that you put down, you're going to go forwards by six this time. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. And then just bend that one in. So you should have one, two, three, four blocks of the grey wool showing here. So it's the same on the other side, of course. So it brings around one, two, three, four, five, six, and bend it in. So you've just got this kind of slightly uh, kind of fenced off kind of bit. So let's get onto this main bit here. Okay, so I come to this section again and we're just going to leave three of these blocks. So you got one, two, three, and we're going to do three by four. So you got one, two, three, four, and this will be a total of three high. So just build this one up. Just like this. Pretty easy. Like that. And it doesn't really matter what the floor you've got in this one. So I've just used, I've just kind of gone across it and just filled it up completely. I'm just going to take those out. This is where your ladder can go at the back, like that. And then we're just going to build this kind of sensor part. So just in the middle part, just put two like this, and then on the back, we go up by one more. On this front part, I've just made a cross out of the grey wall like this. And on the back, just use a stone stair to actually connect it in. Grab your iron bars, and then you're just going to wrap these around, but not right on the back, so you can actually get up even though there's not really much point being able to get up to here because it's too small um, you still can and then if you want to just to finish some of this one off this is just something I've come up with. I haven't actually done this one on the other one uh, but you could just put in buttons on the outside parts grab a lever as the actual kind of antennary part it's really up to you if you want to have it like that or if you want to have it completely kind of clean and fresh it's just a kind of idea for you guys uh, so now we've just got a couple more of these smaller antennas to do, and we're done with this back section. Okay, so if you grab your cobblestone wall, if you don't have this, then you can just use normal never brick. Um, it'll look absolutely fine. Just behind this part, go up by three cobblestone wall in total. So it's the same on the other side, one, two, three, and then you've got five never brick fence. One, two, three, four, and five, just like that. One, two, three, four, and five. Then all I did is, like I've been doing on most of my builds, I just kind of put a couple of them around, just fill up this part, so maybe put a cobblestone. So maybe just put a cobblestone wall here with a never brick fence on it, or just got by and have one fence there, or you could just have one, or just have like a never brick fence here and got just by one like that. It's the same exactly on the back. I just went up a little bit more, so I might have put down two cobblestone wall and I've got by one. And I think this back one I actually went up a couple and then went across to the sides like this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do these back missile kind of sections. I believe these are actual missile launchers. Um, so if you find the middle of it, what you're going to do is just place down one block just for the time being and put down a weighted pressure plate on top. Or you can put just down a normal pressure plate. It depends what material you've made out of. And then put buttons around it. This is just some extra detail that's in there. And then if we just come one block back and we're just going to leave a two block gap here so you've got two blocks here got two and a block and two and a block two and a block and two then a block and then two so you should have four of these in total and you're just going to go around just on the outside part like that so you don't have them on you, you should have just one slab on each side like this just to finish off these parts put on some weighted pressure plates it's the same on the other side as well uh, so you're going to leave two, come here, and then uh, you've got your two slabs, one, two slabs, block, two slabs, block, two slabs, block, and then two slabs, and then just come around the outside like this, and then go around the outside again, and weighted pressure plates, or normal pressure plates, really up to you. So that does that little bit there, so we've just got our centerpiece, which I'll just have a look at now.
Okay, and for right in the middle, what you're going to do is just going to have a block right in line with these two middle ones like this. Two slabs right in the middle. Grab your never brick fence and just grab this and put it across the top. Get some buttons and you're just going to put these buttons just on the outside part. Like so. So that's that there. And if you just grab your iron bars, we're just going to grab this and drag it right to right in line with that slab for the time being. So we're just doing it section by section. Trying to make everything as clear and easy as possible. So you can already see that we've kind of done quite a lot of complex work and we've got loads and loads to keep on going with. Uh, but you're doing really well so far. Uh, another thing we can do is just these kind of rails. There's some sort of cabling or something. I'm not too sure what it is on the deck, but I saw it and the closest that we have to kind of make it is rails. So where we've got this section here, we're just going to wrap around here. And we're just going to bring these rails just up to this part. And yeah, we're just going to continue bringing it here. We've got this second one like this. It's actually just after which it starts curving in, just the middle line, and just bring it in line again with this section here. So it's just after that second one, we go one more and then curve. So I'll show you how to do it on the other side as well, because um, this one just confused me a little bit. So just bring this through, so you should be able to walk through this section here. And we're just bringing this one right across the side where we get to the second one, go past one, and we're just going to curve this one. Just bring it in line like that for the time being. Um, so now what I think we're going to do is, I think we're just going to finish off and just come back to this front part, just kind of break up doing the back, going towards the front. Uh, we might as well just finish off this little bit here where we've got the uh, anchor system. We can also put in some of these, uh, well quite a lot of these iron, iron bars. Uh, probably the guard and also the main gun, we might as well get that done while we're at it, so let's do this. So the first thing we're going to do is just put in the anchors. So if you come right to the front of the ship, grab some iron bars. Where we've got this kind of raised bit, what we're going to do is we're just going to come down and then come to this kind of corner piece, cut this one out, get an iron bar in there, and pull it forwards, and then go down by a total of three. So you've got one, two, and three. And just add one to each side, like that. So it's quite a small anchor on this one. It's the same on the other side, so we'll just find exactly the same place here. And then come out down by three in total, and go out to the side on each of them, just like that. What we can also do right on this front part is just on this one, just to go up by three, never break a fence in total. Grab your block of iron, we're just going to join these across here, and just join these two like this. Grab your iron bars, and just wrap these around, Ooh, just on the nose section, like that for the time being. And we might as well do it on the next lot as well. So if you just grab this, your your kind of main colour, and go through and just kind of make sure that they're all connected like this. And just leave it, uh, this long stretch will actually work on in a second. So what you're just doing is just linking this up, grab your iron bars, go around. Right on top of that that you've just built. And then continue going around like this. And we'll just leave this long section, though most of it has got iron bars on it, as you can see here. Um, there is extra bits, so that's why we're, I'm kind of just doing it uh, like it is at the minute, so we can actually count out how many iron bars, and then when we've got these kind of uh, the actual missile launchers or the torpedo launchers, I can't remember what they exactly are. We'll get onto those then. So just do the same on the other side for this part. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to build the actual chain system for the anchors. Uh, so what you need to do is where you've got this kind of raised bit, it's actually just one block behind, and it's two from the side here. So you've got two blocks, and then you've got your uh, cobblestone wool, or also just you know your normal never brick fence. Just put one slab on top, and just go around at the minute anyway. Just go around with four um, stone slabs like this. Uh, if I just get rid of my never brick fence, what we're going to do is this inside one here. We're going to actually take out. And we're going to cut in this way that it will go down into if you do have a chain room. So if you just cut that block out, just create an extra block, you'll need a way to get back in. Um, so I'll just cut one up here and I can't get through. There we go. So you should have this kind of dip down. So when you actually put your... I use anvils for this part. I actually prefer, prefer them. So you've got this and it kind of is as if when we actually go up to join it into the front part, it'll be as if it's actually wrapping around this and then going down into the ship. So if you just create this, 
like that. Yeah, okay. And then just on this forward part, we just go forward by two of them, and then you've got one, two, three, and then you're just going to cut into the deck again. And that's where we've got our actual iron bar here, so that's where we need to connect it into. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a step pattern to get down like this. So if I do the same on the other side as well, so we've got one, two, that goes inside, one, two, three. Cut out two of these. And we're just going to create a step pattern just here. And then you have an anvil, and then you can turn this one if you want to, which will be connecting up to that iron bar there. So put those in like that. So then we've got the chains going across here and going around. Another thing that you can use instead of the anvils is something like your cobblestone slabs. They also look fine. So it's really up to you what you want to use and what kind of looks good in your texture pack. But that finishes up um, the actual chainsaw system. It's pretty simple. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we'll do the guard and also the gun. Okay, so just for this guard behind it, what you're going to do is with your main hole color, you're going to have three that's right behind this part here. Then what you're going to do is you're actually going to go here and you're just going to squiggle down five times in total. So you got one, two, three, four, five blocks. So you got one, two, three, four, four, and five. And then there's a slab right on the bottom part of that part there. That just creates the front guard like that. And now we're just going to set up, there's kind of a guard for the actual gun itself. Um, because it's supposed to be slightly raised up, I had to kind of use slabs on top of this kind of guard part so that there is actually, you know, it's showing on this on this layer, um, which is why I've used the slabs on there. It's really up to you if you want to or not. Uh, but what we'll do is, if you just come from where this gets raised up, I'm just going to come forward, so we're going to have a five going across. So this is the center line of the ship, so you've got five, one, then we'll go into our normal box, one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, and then that's where you're going to have your slabs there, and then just bring these slabs right on top, like that, and now we'll build the main gun. Okay, so for the main gun, what you're going to do is you're going to leave one block from this back part here, and you're just going to go three by four box, so you've got one, two, three, four, just like this, grab your stone stairs, these are just going to wrap around just like this, and then you've got your 3x4 box on top again, so you can just do this, and build it up to a total height of 2, and just in the middle kind of section, just on the sides, what you're going to do is just put in uh, these two parts like this, and grab your stone slabs, you're just going to have stone slabs just on these parts here, and also two in the middle, and on the back here, grab never brick fence, put two right on the back, grab your buttons, it'll just go on the back part, bottom part of this part here, like that, actually take your buttons off, it's going to be easier, uh, just go forwards by four with this part here, one, two, three, four, this is so you can just put your fence gates on as it does have a double bar on this one, so you got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and it does have two barrels, um, they are supposed to be closer together probably on this centre block, but it's pretty much impossible to do it, and it looks really strange if you just put one in the centre and one on the side. Uh, so what I did is I just had them on the side, so it's not perfect to actual design. Another thing you can do is do it like the normal guns that I do, uh, which is if you have black wall, you can just go here, one, two, three, four. You could also do that and just have a single barrel. Um, it works pretty easy, you know, well with both, but if you do want it more accurate, you're going to need your fence gates. So if I just put these in again, like that, grab your buttons, and there's just going to be a button at the bottom of each of those. And that finishes up the main gun. So we've now done the front section as well. So we've got this very odd looking ship so far. Um, but we'll just go back to the back section now, and we'll finish off this rather large section here, which has. Uh, the smokestacks on them. It's got a crane as well for the actual boats. This is right in between these parts. Uh, it's got the two small boats here, which are quite cool. They're actually, you know, you can actually go inside them, so they are a bit bigger than just just like lifeboats. So you've got you've got two of those. Uh, this big radar thing as well. So let's get onto that. Okay, so just setting up this back section. What we're going to do is. It's coming by one block and there should be nine going across here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that should be one block 
either side of this like that, so it should be just in line with this. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This goes back by 29 in total. So counting that block, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. And this is just a big box, really. Um, there's extra bits that kind of get added onto the side of it. And height-wise, it does kind of vary um, as well, so it's not as simple as just this. Uh, but you're just going to build this up to a total height of 3, so just go around and make sure you've got 1, 2, 3 going up. So go around and I'll catch you guys after you've done that. Okay, so if you just come to the bit that's close to the back, just leave 5 of these. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, go to the 6th. And this one is going to go back by 20 in total, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I just need to recount this one. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and bring this one across, and then join it up again on the other side as well. And then across this part as well, join these two together, and just for the time being make this one a total height of 2. So don't make it a total height of three. This one's just going to be two for the time being. So just go around it like this. Just like that. And if we come around the back, and there's just going to be seven of the bits in the middle. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So leave these walls in. That would have been easy to say. And then just come down here. I'm just going to bring this bit down like this. And these next two as well, actually like that, like this as well, just with those two like that. Sorry, my bad. Take out these ones here, like this, and there should be one block higher. So I just have to check that, and then bring this one across as well, like that for the time being. And just add them on the side as well, so you've got an extra couple here, just like that. And then you're going to have four stone slabs, so you've got... That'd be if there's three of them, so just come in one block on the side, two, three, four, just like that. Just put that in there for the time being. It's really easy, small detail like that. And if you come to this part here and grab your red wall um, or your deck color, whatever it is, you know, fill this part in, fill this floor in here, just like this, fill it all up. And then what we're going to need to do for the time being, just go around the entire outside of this little little kind of section here with your iron bars just like that and now what we'll do is um, I think we'll probably put in the crane because uh, it'll probably be easier to put it in now because it fits in between these two side bits and we've currently just built up to this here so we'll put that in now okay so we'll just do this side extension part here so what you're going to do is off this block here counting this one you're going to go across to five so you've got one two three four five which will bring you directly on top this one then goes this way here by 11, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And then you're just going to add an extra block here, so you've got 2 showing. The next one will be coming out here, and you've got 2 here, so you've got 2 showing this way. And then you've got 2 showing like that. So then grab your red wall, and this will just be filling in again this higher kind of deck section here. Uh, so if we just do it the same on the other side as well. Or actually, you guys can just copy this onto the other side. And then what we're going to do is, if we just come to the back part, just got by two on this bit here, two up here, go across by three, so you got one, two, and three. And then we're going to have a cobblestone wall if you don't have it, never brick fence will do fine. But black one top, grey carpet on top, if you don't have grey carpet, don't worry about it. And this is the face that's going to be kind of showing, uh, so what you're going to do is just going to have trap doors going around the side. I'm not 100% sure what this is, but I did see it on there, so I just shoved it in there. So do the same on the other side. It's really, really easy, so I shouldn't get stuck with it at all. So you've got this, this, this around the side, like that. And now if you grab your iron bars and just wrap these around. And you have to put in an extra block here if you want to do what we've been doing with the rest of it. Wrap that around there, and copy that on the other side. And it seems I got these the wrong way around, so actually the, the black piece of wall is supposed to be facing the front of the ship. So if you just switch those around quickly, sorry about that. And now what you got is you've got a one block gap, and you've got a piece of uh, your hole colour, and a fence gate. This is another gun that's on these. And if you leave a block gap, do the same, so there's actually two of these like this. 
So you've got this here, and a gun, and there, and then another gun. Just like that. There's an extra detail here that I put in, which is just a couple of pieces of white wall, no brick fence. I only did this on one side. I think this was just basically uh, kind of stuff that gets stored up there. So now I'll keep on, uh, we'll actually go on to the crane finally. Okay, so for the crane, what you need to do is if we just find the center of this back piece here, so we put in three blocks and then two on each of these sides, just to create this kind of base like this. This one here, we're going to go up by four, so you've got one, two, three, four. Next one is up by five, one, two, three, four, five. This just goes up one more. And just on the side, this one goes up by three, so you've got one, two, and three. Same on the other side, two, three, three, like that. And then just on this one here, we're just going to add two extra blocks, just like that. And now we're just going to build this kind of back bit here, so if you just get your stone slabs, and just above this one here, just put your stone slabs around like this, and if you want to you can grab ladder and put this one up, so you've got a way to get onto this back part, um, I think you can probably put it there if you wanted to, yeah it's really up to you how far up you want to go with this one, um, we've just got that there, and then if we grab our whole colour, just come from here, go up and diagonal so that you get to here, so you can go four, so you got one, two, three, four, and go up again, one, two, three, four, grab your never brick fence, and you're just going to bring this all the way back, and it should end up on top of that block there. So it should get up to there, just like that, so it'll go straight across. And now all we need to do is just with your stone slabs, go onto this part, and we're just going to create a small step that goes down like that. So do the same on the other side as well, just like that. And then that's it for the crane, so I think what we're going to do is probably if we build these smokestacks I'm going to try and make it into a section here. Okay and then behind this what you're going to do is going to add eight blocks just of grey so we're just inside this part behind uh, the actual crane so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and this will just be three wide so if you just bring this here and then the next part is just up one block so if you just bring this up and this is just your main hole colour and make this three long in total, so just bring this across like this, and this will just create a clear section, uh, kind of change, uh, this is how I've kind of figured out how to do it, uh, we've just done this inside part here, we're just going to go onto this part, now what we're going to do is build the smokestacks up, and then continue moving backwards. And if we just build up one of the smokestacks, you can, you can uh, flip it onto the other side, so just on the inside here, we're just going to go up by two blocks, and let's just create this box here. So it goes back by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, just at this point here. So make this too high. Bring this across the back. And there we go. So we've built that up to a total height of 2. So this is just the first section here, just these two here. And if you guys just copy this onto the other side. And then what we're going to do is if we just come to this back part here, we're just going to go in towards the, uh, the kind of front of the ship by one block here go up to a total height of three like this then on the outside part we're going to go out and have six so you got one two three four five and six like that there's going to be three across the back again so we just build this up here and then this wall just joins in to the front part like this build this one up again so you should have this it does stick out just slightly because of this extra bit here so if you build that on the other side as well and now if you just come onto the inside of one of these ones here and just on this part here we're just going to link this in like this, grab your grey wall and this comes down one layer down just to fill in this section like this, grab your stone slabs, these just go in like this so it's just got that kind of pattern like that, if you just copy it onto the other side as well I might as well do it with you because it's really really easy and it doesn't take up much time, put in your stone slabs and just on this back part here so where we've got this bit here we're going to Create a kind of circular bit going around like this. Get your ladders, these just go straight up. And we got onto this bit, it'll go through here so you can actually get up onto the top of these smokestacks. So it's the same on the other side as well. Come around with your stone slabs. Just like that. So that finishes off that kind of back little bit. Um, I think what we're going to do just to break up this kind of quite intricate building upwards part, we're just going to do one of these small 
ships on the side. We'll just do the small ships, just like just just here these ones, um, and it also just cut off this complete section here, so we can move on. Um, so let's do this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just finish off where we've got these kind of uh, rails. So if we just come to this one and uh, go to here, it's going to be free when you've got it in line with this. So it goes one, two, and three. And they're going to have two pieces of wool. It's just I'm not too sure why they're there, but I did see them on them on the actual ship. So and connecting your iron bars to that part. So we've got this here. Oh, this here like that. And then one, two, three. Two pieces of white wool and then iron bars going across like that. And now we'll put in those boats. And now what we're going to do just for these kind of side connecting parts which uh, will actually hold the ship. We're going to leave one block gap and place one down. Then leave two block gap, place one down, and two block gap, place one down like that. And you can put your iron bars right in them. And I've just remembered that I've actually forgot to put down <laughs> the side parts for these there. So I'll actually do that just after we've built this ship. So just put that in there for now. Okay, so for one of these small boats, what you need to do is just on this block that we've got here, just put down a, a slab. So I've used uh, I've used cobblestone or, or stone slabs here, and then I've used the white top. Um, it's really up to you what you want to do with this one, but you're just going to come forwards. Um, when you're going to be in line with this one, you're just going to come forwards by two. Uh, you need to create some way to actually get an upside down stair at the front. There we go. So I've got an upside down stair at the front. Then the rest of them are going to be sideways. These will just come across the back. Not sideways, upside down. On the side, if I can actually place these right. And it just goes out and over the back. Wraps around until you get to the front. So I keep on wrapping this one around. It always is a little bit more difficult when you're on the inside of this one. So that's what you actually have for the base of the ship. Okay, so then come to the front. I'm just going to fill up these ones solid. So we've got one, two, and three of those ones are solid. Just across the front, just put slabs on in this kind of pattern like that. Then grab your never brick fence, just right in the middle, go up by three, connect it in, and then also put one in here. This will just be the first kind of connecting part. Okay, and then just for the actual main part, just come across the front with three glass panes. And you can use a quartz kind of block here. I'm just using the slabs to make a double one. You can use, use white wall if you don't have the quartz. Um, and then if you do use you know white wall for this part, you can use the stone slabs for this part and also the actual slabs, the quartz slabs, and also the quartz stairs. So you can always just switch those out. And then you've got a block, window, another block, then you've got your stair and two slabs. So I'll just do this block, stair, block, stairs, and then two slabs like that. And then just come across the top of this part and just cover it up with slabs. So you should have four going back like that and that gives you enough room to actually go inside as well which is quite nice on this. And just to finish it up grab your never brick fence and this one will come through at the same level as this one and connect into the side and connect in like that. So then just copy this ship design right onto the other side and I'll get back to you guys. And now we're just going to finish up connecting this part into the actual deck itself before I completely forget. So where you've got this one here, just connect this one down. And we're just going to connect this one in here. So we've just got this kind of small doorway going in. And then this one will go four in table. So you get one, two, three, and four. Make this part solid. And you've got four iron bars. And then you should have three blocks of iron in the end, just like that. So that'll just create that kind of small room here. Um, part of the actual missile launchers do do kind of go inside, um, so copy this onto the other side as well. Okay, so if we just come to the back just to finish up this part, what we're going to do is just come in and have seven, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so it's not on these side parts here. These get left, and this will go back by four, so you got one, two, three, four. It's all just going to be completely solid like this. So we're just going to have that for the time being, and then grab your stone slabs and just have them here, one, two, three. And also some on the side like this. So you've got five in total. Grab your rail. Let's just go here and also on the sides. This just to give it a bit more detail. And I can't seem to curve that one. I think you have to do something like this. There we go. So you have to do that to actually get it to turn the right way. Um, but then you get that part. So now what we do, all we need to really do, I think, is just this antenna part. And then we're finally done with this section at least. And I've just realized there's an extra couple of bits just on this smokestack part. We just need to add it down an extra layer just like this. So it's just this outside part that just sticks out like that. And then if you grab your slabs and just put three slabs in here, 
and I need to grab iron bars which we can also now connect up to this part here just have iron bars going across this part and I'll just squiggle to this part which I will attach in later on so you just put down three stone slabs just like that and also don't forget to put down your iron bars in this section so let's get on to the next bit and then the next bit is just going to go across by seven so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and let's just go back by four in total like this and actually where I said the iron bars connect in here it doesn't, it connects into the next bit so you'll just have to extend it like that so then we get this for the time being and then we're just going to move in and have five so you got one, two, three, four, five still goes back by four and if we just build the box build this up to a total height of two like that and then what we're going to do is this front part that's towards the front of the ship isn't going to be covered but this one is going to go back so the last three sections are going to go back by an extra one block so just build this up like that and then we've just got a three by three box on the top part here so it's quite a complex little section this one so I'm just going to give you a couple more shots of it so if you need to you know pause the video <laughs> it's quite complicated and it's really confused me as well so let's get on to the next bit and then just come in the back part here there's a couple extra bits I forgot to put down there's just two slabs just in the sections there or what you can do is you can move them outwards I think that might look a little bit better and then come to the middle of this and go up by eight so you got one two three four five six seven and eight just like that and then come to the back of this one here so that's the back of the ship there add an extra block and what you're going to do is just wrap a couple of these around these fences around like this and we're going to create three and then an extra one sticking out then a three and then a one sticking out and right in the middle just add an extra um, iron bar just like that and on the front of this one what you're going to do is you're just going to create a cross pattern just like this, so you've got a cross pattern just joined on right onto it like that and what you're going to do now, this is, can be a little bit complicated but grab your iron bars, go up go up one above this and this will go out it'll be, a, basically we're doing five, four, five, four as if we're doing a circle because we're, it's with iron bars, it's a little bit more complicated so you're just going to get this one here, add two to each side, so you've got two to each side like this and if we come down, this will then go out, and this will go down by four. So you've got one, two, three, and four. And the next bit will be a five as well. So we're going to go down here, and you've got one, two, three, three, four, and five. And it goes out to four, one, two, three, four. And then in and joins. If we just join up all of this part here, and just basically join it together so I'll show you what I'm actually trying to do just in case you do get stuck on this bit so I can see why you would um, oh not there so there we go so when you finally are able to do it you should have something that looks like this uh, so if I just fly over to the one that I've got here so yeah so you can see this like um, if I get a block here so you got one two three four five you got one two three four one two three two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So that's basically what you're doing is creating this five, four, five, four, just with the iron bars. Um, so hopefully you don't get too stuck on that, but that's all it is. It's basically taking a, a kind of um, a circular shape, but it's not quite circular. I can't remember what the word for it. And just applying that with the bars, uh, but that does that. So now we've got these little bits on the side to do. Okay, so just for these kind of side bits, what we're going to do is it's just in here. So you got one, leave a block, then we got one, leave a block, then we got one, leave a block, then we got one there, and they've just got grey carpet on the top. If you don't have grey carpet, then don't bother. But it's just a black wall, just going down like that. Same on the other side as well. So it's pretty easy, like that. And then just to finish it off, what we're going to do is just on this one here, we're going to place down a slab and put grey wall on it. And then on this part here, so it's one block lower, just on this level, slab and grey wool on it. So same level side, slab, grey wool. And this one is here, slab, grey wool. Just like that. So I'm pretty sure that that's finished off that back section now. So we're finally getting there. It is a very complex build, um, as you can see. 
and we've still got this kind of the biggest part of it to do the biggest tower part anyway um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to set out the kind of bottom part get all these side parts done so we've basically done the deck parts I'll just be moving upwards so let's do it okay so we're finally starting onto the bridge section so what you need to do is come to the back part here and have a free block gap one two three and if you just find the center line which you've got this mast here there's going to be seven blocks going to cross so you're just going to add uh, three blocks one two three just add three blocks to each side which should give you four blocks of red on either side just like that and then just bring this one all the way to the front just drag this one all the way and uh, keep going just like that and right at the front here you should have five going across so it's right behind this part here so if you just grab the other one as well and bring this one up so it's just one block short put this up to a total height of four in total so you get one two three four and all of this kind of sections should be a total height of four so go around like that and I'll get I'll catch you guys after that and once you've done that what you can do is just on these two corners here you're just gonna go up by two blocks just on the side so it's a pretty easy extra bit so just add two blocks to that part there and then if you want to you can fill up this entire deck um, uh, what I'll do is I'll just show you guys where to actually put it so you can actually have this which gives you a free block gap a free block room underneath but you can just bring this one back by 18 if you want the minimum so you'll want to free 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and then just fill this entire deck in for the time being and then once you've filled that in what you're going to do is just leave a one block gap and from here go back by 7 so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and just on the sides we'll just have 5 so it's in one block on each side just like this place just a block here and a block here grab your fence gate this is where two guns are going to go like this and also if you grab your block of iron put them in the side you can actually uh, what we'll do is we'll just do it as we move back but put your iron bars around the side like this just like that for the time being and now what we're going to do before it gets too complicated uh, especially with this kind of upper bit going on here we're actually going to just going to do these uh, missile launchers that are on the sides um, just to try and fill out this side part as you can see it's pretty empty so far so if we just come to this part here just go up by three blocks and then go back by one and then find on the side one two three and go back by one like that now I use cobblestone wall for this part just to join these two together if you don't have cobblestone wall you could use your never break fence or you could just go straight across with your kind of uh, whatever colour you're using or also put stone slabs across and that's also going to look fine so there's quite a few different ways you can actually do this part and then what you're going to do after that is grab whatever kind of hull colour you've got or you can use a different colour, you can use grey wool or something for this place it in the middle, go forwards by one and then add one to the back and go diagonally back one two three and then go down again one two three and then one two three so you just do this until you get to the bottom these are actually like uh, missile tubes so one, two, three, one, two, three, just like that so you're going to get that pattern going downwards and then after you've done that one you're just going to go back by one block one two three and to the side exactly the same as you did on the other one these are built in exactly the same way and there's four of them going back in total so what I'll do is I'll just show you how to do a couple of them and I'll show you especially the last one actually so I'll just go through this one and give you again so it's just going down with the freeze two three one two three and here one two three one two three oh, two three one two three and then again here go to the sides join them together with cobblestone wall or whatever you else have you, you you've used um, like this two three I'm just gonna build a way up two three just like that and then we just got one more to do so I've actually gone through all of it with you anyway so just got this one here and then this one gets a little bit more complicated because it disappears into inside this part um, but I'm sure you won't have any problems with it so it's exactly the same get this on here down one two three and then one two three and then this last one is just in here on the inside so pull that across on the other side as well 
and then this is where you have to jump down and put them in there. So then that gives you your missile tubes on the side. So you can see how much that actually fills up uh, the side of the ship compared to what it was. And all you need to do is grab your iron bars and fill in the gaps basically. So let's bring this all the way back and what I'll do is I'll do this with you just in case there's anything that's gone wrong. But it seems we'll find, there we go, so it just joins into there. So you can copy this onto the other side pretty easily. Um, another thing that you can do that I was messing around with while building the actual ship itself was um, messing around because these are the actual tubes and these are the end of them. Possibly putting item frames on and then you could possibly put something on the front of them like, I don't know, maybe a block of wool. Um, but it might just be worth just putting the item frames on. It's really kind of up to you. I'm not too sure about it. Um, it's really your choice. So copy that onto the other side and then we'll get back to building up at the main bridge section. Okay, so after you've done that on both sides, what we'll do is if we come to this part here, grab your never brick fence, just add it on the back and go up by three in total, so you've got one, two, three. Grab your cobblestone wall or any other kind of equivalent that you've got and just wrap that around the back there. And then leave a one block gap and you're just gonna have a two by two kind of box here, stone slabs on the top, grab your never brick fence again and this one's gonna go up by three on the front. So you got one, two, three there, and on the back it's going to go by a four, so one more extra than that one. So you got one, two, three, and four, so it's one higher like that. And now there's a couple more guns that we need to put in, so on the same kind of level as this one, just go up twice on this part here, grab a fence and just put it around the three sides of it. Uh, you need to build a way for the actual uh, fence gates to go on, so the fence gates will just be going on like this. I'm pretty sure this is some sort of missile system properly, probably, I'm not too sure. Uh, so just build it on the other side as well. So just get your fences and build away. Just put your fence gates on top, just like this. So then when you've got that, you can just grab your iron bars and connect those two parts together. And we're almost done with this kind of raised deck part. I I think actually, yeah, we are pretty much done with it. All the rest of it is going to be the next bit, so let's get on to it. Okay, so for the next section, so this is going to be building up uh, just underneath the actual bridge section. So from this part that we put in, just leave a two block gap, and it's going to go across by three, and go back by three like this. And then what you need to do is it just goes in, and you have a two like this. So this is just kind of a box on the front of it. You could actually just, if you wanted to, just bring this across as this is kind of an extension. And then this is going to be built up to a total height of three, so you got one, two, three, so you can just build this up for the time being. It doesn't really matter if you build up that one actually. Um, and then just bring this all the way around to the back again, and it'll basically just go on top of the last layer from this point on. So just build this one up, this extra layer, another three, and I'll get on to the next part. Okay, so once you've done that, if we just come to this front part, this is completely solid in and so is this part here just like that and there's going to be two pieces of red wool just going back just like this which has an iron bar just going around this front part instead of this this bit here and if you grab your never brick fence just in this corner you're just going to go up by a total of three so it's connecting to that corner it's the same on the other side so you've got one, two, two if I can actually place them two and three like that Grab your cobblestone wall or never brick fence, put a black piece of wool on, carpet, if you don't have carpet it doesn't matter. And then we're just going to put our trapdoors around again. So it's exactly the same as those ones that we've got right there, uh, just one on the front, like that. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to set up for the kind of, uh, there's just one extra layer kind of underneath the bridge which will just be doing these kind of side railing parts, so we're actually just going to set up uh, what's happening there. So. You just come across the front just here, so I'll just connect those iron bars in. I'll do it from this side because I've been teaching from this side. And you're going to go back by three in total, so you've got one, two, three. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go out with two, and then you're going to have three this way. So you've got two there, three coming out this way. You're then going to go in for seven, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then out and do five, so you've got one, two, three, four, five. And then when you do it on the other side, this one will just come straight across. So if we just do it on the other side quickly, so you've got this one, two, three, out and you've got a two, then you've got this three coming out. 
And then we go in for 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we need to go out and do a 5, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it will connect in right there. So then what you need to do is grab your red wool, your main deck colour, and just fill in this part like this. So just fill up all of this part here, and we'll get into the next layer. Okay, and then this is what you should have. So grab your stone slabs, and we're just going to come underneath, and we're just going to cover up that red wall, because it doesn't look amazing, and the slabs actually just get rid of it and don't really look too bad underneath. It's really up to you, though, if you want to put this in and just cover up just the red bits. Um, you could, if you wanted to, bring it to underneath this part, but I actually kind of prefer it just breaking up a little bit, and there are still weird lighting glitches, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, so then when we've got that, what you can do is you're going to come to the front and just come across, come in forwards by one, and then we're just going to outline this part, which will just join into this side bit here, and then the rest is pretty much just on top, except for when we get to this back part, this is just iron bars going to cross. So we'll have this bit go into this end block there, and if we just do it the same on the other side, so one, two, three, four, and then these are just on top. Just like that for the time being. Okay, and then the next part, what we're going to do is we're just going to set up this kind of back section as well. So where we've got this kind of four coming across here, what we're going to do is just add an extra block in this part, and then we're going to have two. So you've got three blocks here, and two. And you should have 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, and 11, which should give you a nice kind of place to be able to walk around quite easily on this, um, as well as an extended back, and also be able to walk across the back. So, you've done the same on the other side, so you've got 1, 2, 3, then 2, then it goes out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Join it up at the back. So, that's what you should have from the air, or that, I don't know which one's easier. And then all you need to do is, especially this back bit, where you've got this two, just build this up to a total height of three for the time being. Uh, some of it does go up higher, but this will be, this will kind of make it a little bit easier. Just build this up for the time being. And then if we just build up the bridge bit, if you grab your glass, just go on one, two, three, four here, and across the front as well. Another four across this bit. Grab your block of iron, and if we just build this part up like this, just this side bit. And then on top of the glass, you actually put stone slabs, just like this. And if we grab our block of iron or light grey wall again, just where we've got this one here, just drag this across to create the roof. Drag this all the way here, like that. And that'll create the roof for it, so then you've got your actual bridge section. Unfortunately, it is just two blocks high, which is pretty small, so if you guys do want to extend it, you could always extend it or grab your... Uh, if you just go around the outside parts of it, you could just grab your stone stairs and or stone sl slabs even, and just come across like this, which would give you an extra block pretty easily, and it doesn't affect the top of it too much. It only goes up by one slab, uh, but if you want it exactly the same as what I've got, uh, which is more accurate, then just fill this in, just this front part like that and there is also a door where I put in the door on this is just here so you've got it just on this section here so that's where I actually put in my door um, so you can actually go out of the bridge pretty easily and walk around the outside just like that so let's go on to the next bit and then if you come on the back of this bit grab your red wool and just add six so you've got one two three four five six and then you're just going to fill in this floor this will be the floor for kind of it's just above the uh, above the actual bit where we've got this sensor here. That's all we're doing now. So just build that up. Um, if you do want to put a couple of sensors and stuff, or not sensors, antennas on the top, I did exactly the same. Just kind of threw down a couple of the blocks and not <laughs> use carpet. Uh, use your never brick fence. Go up a couple, maybe. Just have a couple like this. Maybe have this one going backwards. You know, you can kind of mess around with it and and see what happens. But it really just put them down roughly. And there is a little bit before I forget which is this that we need to add in. Um, so if I just find it, so on the last one of these <laughs> missile tube things, if you just go on to the, we've got this bending back, if you just add an extra two blocks and then go back again, 
and then across the front what we're going to do so it's going to be one block higher here we're just going to connect this in to the main deck like that grab your slabs and we're just going to make a small kind of platform for this to sit on and then grab a cobblestone wool or never brick fence put wool on top and quartz slab or slab or just leave it like that and then just to finish it off iron bars just go around the side like that so it's just this kind of small platform that's built off of this so if we go to the other side and do it as well so if we go to here what we're going to do is off this one go up make it a total height three so you got one two and three then go back just that one higher bring this across like that grab your stone slabs this just goes across the bottom here and you can put your fence, or not fence, iron bars around just in this gap put your cobblestone wall or your fence and then put a slab on top so that means that we haven't forgotten about that bit which is good so let's go on to the next section and then from the back here just go seven so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and this should just be where we put in the uh, floor and this will just be a height of one for the time being and then if we put a little bit more stuff on here so just come into this one, go up by two and put a trap door on it and trap door on it maybe put a block here put a stone slab on top and here we can just put in a block put slabs around it and on top of it there we could if you wanted to put a slab on top of that one maybe and now what we're going to do is we're going to build the sensor so you have a two block gap from the middle go to here and then go up by four so you got one, two, three and four and we're just going to create a cross pattern, so just like this, and one on the back as well. Right in these gaps, just put in some iron bars, as well as on the back. And in the middle, we'll have a cobblestone wall, and I think there's probably more iron bars just going around the side of it. I'll just check to see if this is right. Okay, so there's just a couple extra bits just on the back. Just add in a couple more iron bars, so there's quite a lot of iron bars just on this. A bit. If you wanted to, you can make it a little bit longer, maybe, actually, because it connects into the bars, it doesn't look quite right, so just leave it with one for the time being. Um, and now we'll build up this kind of main sensor bit with a lot of radar systems and things. Okay, so next part, what we're going to do is, if we just come to the back and we just go across by five, one, two, three, four, and five, and then this one will go six, so you're going to leave the corner off and go one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're only leaving the corner off the back part. Uh, not the front, so we'll just put that there and then what we'll do is we'll just put in a kind of small sensor type thing that's just on the side, so I'll just put in a stone slab here and put a cobblestone wall with a brick fence on it and there's another one around about here, it doesn't really matter with these ones, they're not exact we could put one in, I think probably here and just put in your stone slab and I just had a couple of pieces of never brick fence going down just make sure that you've got enough room to walk through which I have which is great. Okay, so now we'll keep on moving up. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go across this by five. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and it goes back by six. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's in one on all of the sides like this. And it just goes up by two this one. So just build up to a total height of two. Like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is if you grab your stone slabs, leave two of these and just go one, two, three, so you're one from the back, two from the front and go out again so you've got two lots of slabs I just came under and made these double slabs uh, so it looks like it's supported more grab your iron bars just put it on these two bits like this put a cobblestone wall or never brick fence there and put a piece of wall just like that so these are the kind of sensors that come out of the side so do the same on the other side it's exactly mirrored just like this and your iron bars and not that <laughs> cobblestone wall and a piece of wool like that Okay, so the next part we're going to do is you're going to come in one from the front this time. So you just come in by one. This one will go all the way to the back, like this. And then the next layer is directly on top of this one. This time it goes back and leaves this corner off. So you have three at the back. So you've got this one, two, three, four, five going across, then one, two, three, four. And then you've got this three going this way, just like that. Okay, so now we're going to build the first kind of uh, small radar dish. So if you just get cobblestone or stone bricks or something, I used cobblestone uh, for this, so you just have three pieces of cobblestone right on this layer here. On the back you can have three stone stairs. This is where it gets really tricky because you kind of have to cut out, I guess. So if I'm just going to cut out those bits to get in, oh, there, three cobblestone in there. 
and then rebuild this section. Then grab your stone stairs and you're just going to go like this. So you're creating this kind of shape here. You can, what I did on the older one, I actually didn't put stone stairs on the back, so you could have it like this. Um, I kind of think that this looks better actually because it looks a bit more shaped correctly. Um, and then you just come forwards twice with a fence gate for the actual antenna, like that. Okay, and then if you grab your never brick fence just for the back, where you got this kind of piece here, just go one, two, and then you're going to go outwards, then back, then outwards, then back. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, and six in total, and then just add one extra on. That's the same on the other side, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six, and add one going upwards, just like that. Okay, and then the next one, what you're going to do is just come three across the front, and this will go back by four, so you've got one, two, three, and four. So I'll just do this here, and then build this up to a total height of two for the time being, just like that. And then if you come in one from the front, and just do a three by three box, like that. And then on the back of this, just add four blocks. So you've got one, two, three, four. Grab your iron bars, put these on the side of it. Just like that. And then on this front part, I just put a stone slab here with a never brick fence on it, like that. And I put a never brick fence here and here. So you could mix it up and just have one in here. It doesn't really matter with these parts, they're just kind of smaller details. But if you guys do want it exactly the same, then I'll show you as best as I can. Okay, and then underneath this thing here, we're just going to add four uh, never brick fences. So you've got one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to go out on each side, and then back, then out, and then back. So out, back, out, back, and then just add one to the top of those ones. And then there's a couple extras we need to add, so just add one in here and here, and connect this together. Then you're just going to go back right to this point here. So it's basically going on top of the last one that we did here, but it doesn't go out one more and it doesn't have an extra one added to it. So just add one here and not there. <laughs> and then it's basically just following it a little bit uh, just until we get to this point there for that one. And then if we just build a big antenna on the back, what you need to do is just put a cobblestone wall here. Go up by three in total. If you don't have it again, use something else. Then add five narrow big fences. One, two, three, four, five. And then the next one here is just one cobblestone wall and one fence like that and then if we just go onto the top of this and we just go three in the middle and this will go up to a total height of three just the middle one so you got one two and three this is where we put in another uh, kind of small dish it's exactly the same as this one and it's just on the back going towards the back of the ship so three pieces of cobblestone and they can come in here and do the upside down one uh, the upside down ones the ones on the back and the upside down ones here and then come around to the front and put these on just like this and then we're going to have two fence gates coming forwards so then we've got the two fence gates there if you could also grab your iron bars just put these on the side and we are very close to being done so I'm just going to check out and see what's going on with this big uh, radar and I think then we're done with the build okay so if you grab your cobblestone again and place one on here instead of it being three it's going to be five in total this one so you've got five in total, and also the middle is a little bit higher, so just add another layer on top. And you have your five here, one, two, three, four, five, with your cobblestone. And this is where it's going to get really tricky, isn't it? So we've got these upside down ones in here. And I think I can just about do it. There we go, so we've got those there. And just like normal, it's just a bigger version. Five, and then grab your iron bars and put them on top like that. So then that gives you that. If you think this is too chunky, you can see, I'll show you the, actually the other design in a second. Um, and then just grab your never brick fence. And this one used to go on top of the wall of this one, but if we do it this way, I advise just putting it on the side like that. And that is it for the Slava class. So well done. I'll just show you this quick bit here now. So if you don't like that kind of design, it's a bit thicker, it's a bit more, a bit bigger then you can just leave it out and uh, the only difference that I did on the top uh, was just on here I just put on you know never brick fence and basically just brought it up behind these parts I like that so well done on completing the Slava class cruiser hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you have make sure you give me a comment like and subscribe for more 
Um, and I will see you guys on the next tutorial.